It's Tuesday the 21st, it's five in the morning right now. It's supposed to rain at two. I'll tell you guys our plan here in a second, but here's the tender truck, grain truck with a thousand gallons. Another, what is that, 25? 2,800 gallon tank here. Got the LED kit on this tractor. <clears throat> so I'd show you guys here, see the line? You can see how full bins are some mornings based on the, uh, see the air, the air is able to touch on the inside of the bin down to there. And then where there's not, obviously that's how much corn is still in there. So that's kind of cool. So he's gonna haul like one or two loads this morning, but the plan is that, <clears throat> make sure my lights are working. I got about 12 or 1300 gallons on here. I'm gonna go out east and try to do 65 acres and then whatever else it takes to get this off if I don't uh, see what the rate does. But um, gonna do, you know, somewhere's in there, get it all off. That's the first batch that we had delivered, 5,000 gallons, this will be all of it. And then the first beans that we got planted before all that rain on Mother's Day, he's thinking we gotta do some weed control. So we're gonna drop these. <clears throat> now that I figured out, you know, the hoses and everything, it won't take long to drop them, make sure they're left in order. They'll snap right back on real easy. But uh, weed control comes first, but he's fairly certain that's what we're gonna do. Uh, if he changes his mind, we're just gonna get more 28% and just keep going with the Y drops, but you can see the clouds are kind of doing funny things already, so I'm gonna get running. Oh, I guess I started it pulling it out of the thing there, so I was just gonna take a short video. Get her rolling again here. I'm, uh, what do I got here? 56 acres, just about 56 acres covered for the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning right now. Um, hoping to be empty by about nine or 10. Uh, still up in the air if we're gonna switch. I, I think I'm leaning towards we are, I'm planning, because that's what he said yesterday. He was gonna scout this morning and let me know for sure. Um, it's going well. Uh, I'm probably down to somewhere is it like the uh, I can't even see 150 200 gallons left So I'm gonna keep chugging whatever I have left. I'm gonna go empty out in a field next to the bin site and then uh, You know if he wants us to keep Y drop and we're out we've sprayed uh, you know we've Y dropped uh, 5,000 gallons so far uh, if we want to keep going, he's going to have to go get some with that tender that he's got in that grain truck. Otherwise, if the tender from the co-op can get here quick, they can wait. But uh, with the rain coming, we want to keep this thing rolling. So it might drop the Y drops and carry on with some, uh, some weed control for the beans, which is important. Uh, especially if it's going to rain for the next couple, two, three days. It'd be nice to get across that first 150 acres of beans. So I think it was like 150, 200 acres of beans we should get across today yet. So um, whatever we do, I'll let you guys know. I left a couple strips on the side hill along with that extreme hill over there. The sprayer likes to slide and then your sprayer tire runs a, runs a row over even if you really hug the row. So it's not worth the benefits of the nitrogen if you're running down a row the whole way down the field. So I just left it and he was fine with me doing that, so. Got an odd row here. Cut back in a little short then. But uh, we'll knock this out in no time here. I'll probably be out of here in the next 15, 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, back on the road. I got another 20 minute drive back to the field that I'm gonna go empty out on. Um, it's kind of an uneven field. You can see now I haven't touched the booms and now they're pretty much where they need to be. You can see we're fighting that odd row. Maybe you can see, maybe you can't. We're kind of pushing the corn a little bit. It's not snapping it off, it's fine, but on this side, you know, we're in the rows, so. It's going on. Um, slow it down a little bit but you know somewhere the 21 it says so I'm probably putting somewhere like 19 20 gallons on an acre I think that says a little high compared to what I'm actually doing so all right check you later there's one of 
of co-ops in the area. Genesis doing some custom spraying for somebody. Let's see, it's about probably about four o'clock now in the evening, afternoon, whatever you want to call it. And I'm still going. I've been going for about 11 hours. Well, probably 10 hours of actuals. Nine and a half, maybe. Oh, a lot of drive time on the road today. Started out east, now I'm out west. Um, got 30 acres on this piece. Plus 20 is 50. 50. Um, plus 70. You know, plus 60 is 110. Plus 55 is 165 so far. And I'm still going. I think I got somewhere. I should have somewhere around like 400 gallons up. It's too hard to see. The sun's like right on it. Um, I'm going to keep going, hopefully. He's going to try to get one more like 500 gallons. We'll be able to finish it for the year. We'd be done. But uh, I don't know if he's going to have luck because everybody's it's past closing time. We've gotten two loads so far. Um, so as of today, when I get this empty, I'll have sprayed 1,200 gallons. And I'll need about 500 more to finish the evening. So pretty, I'm probably close to 4,000 gallons just today. It's been a long day. This is the third day of doing this. We've had two half afternoons. We've had a half an evening of doing it and an afternoon of doing it. He made one pass around the field. And this is his second pass. He's pretty much done. He is done pretty much. So, is that thing in case? Can't even read it. What is it? Model number it is. So we're gonna go, 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 and uh, hopefully he can find a little more. We can finish tonight because they were talking rain this afternoon. Why? Kind of why I got up so early. And um, yeah, can't complain because you can see the tires. I found some mud crossing through. I had to just give her the onion, splash through it, claw my way through it. Um, but maybe it'll rain this evening overnight. I don't know yet. So it'd be nice to finish. And then we can pull the Y drops off in the morning or evening, whatever time it is. And then uh, start spraying beans hopefully tomorrow. So but I'll check back with you guys later when I the progress I make here. What's up, everybody? It is 7.15 in the evening right now. Just finishing up the field here. This puts me at like 200. I think 200 acres for the day. Um, I had a two hour delay waiting for the co-op. And uh, I thought we were gonna need a little more, but uh, with some wet holes and everything, they just made it. Hopefully they can uh, cancel that order tomorrow morning because they weren't gonna bring it till tomorrow because they were out. Um, so I got, I'm still going here, 20 gallons an acre. Maybe just a little shy of that, my hard calculations. Well, hard kill, but looking back at the liquid sloshing around, I think I'm somewhere in like the 17 to 18 gallons an acre for sure. But then I went around some wet holes, so I might be even like 18, 19 with like the stuff I left. And some, I'm not doing like the headlands. I just, as I turn around, that's all they're getting because that's still quite a bit. Otherwise, you end up doubling up a lot. So, um, you know, I'm still probably giving, giving 18 gallons at least an acre, so. Maybe 17, I don't know. Summer's in there, so it went well. Uh, we're done with the one solver. Uh, I gotta go empty out here. There's a field that's super muddy, like eight wet holes in the middle of like 15 acres, but uh, you know, I'll just go around along the road there where it's dry and just kinda empty it out here. I don't have much left, gotta be less than, uh, probably somewhere as to 50 to 100 gallons left. So I'm gonna go do that and then uh, maybe drop the Y drop yet tonight because it's supposed to rain for sure, actually for sure tomorrow at like an 80% chance. Um, cloudy morning, so I don't know if he's gonna wanna try to do beans in the morning, spray beans or not. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna work tomorrow night, so. I don't know how much I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep hard tonight, I know that. I only got like four hours of sleep last night, so. I'll uh, check back with you here in a little bit and let you guys know what our plan is. I'm hoping I can splice all these together, hopefully. 